She's terrified to go to school. I didn't want her to hit me. I just wanted her to stop. He couldn't guarantee my son's safety from the beginning until I called Channel 4 Action News. And they taught me in the hallways, and I felt like I could never escape it. I'm not sure we will stop all the bullies, but if we stop one, that will be huge. This is a chance for us to say, we can put a stop to this. Tonight, we begin our News 4 Bully Project. Throughout our newscast tonight, stories of courage and help from the experts on how to confront those who torment the young and the old. News 4 senior correspondent Rich Newberg is live in the newsroom with more. Rich? When I presented a series of reports a few weeks ago on kids being bullied, we did not anticipate the huge response from concerned parents throughout western New York. We touched a nerve and we realized we needed to do more. Bullying has become a major issue of our times. The living nightmare of bullying in all its ugly forms has found its way into the nation's conscience. You're stupid and ugly. As campaigns like Stop the Bullying make it hard to turn away from the Who's problem, families like the Smiths in the Niagara Wheatfield District are courageously coming forward with stories that demand a response. Six-year-old Sarah was tormented on the school bus by two seven-year-olds, says her mother. She was punched in the chest, stomach, arms, legs. Um, she was given a pencil and told to stab herself as hard as she could until the girl that was telling her to do that gave her permission to stop. While bullying has always been a social problem, it seems to be getting more attention than ever before because the consequences seem to be more and more devastating. Some of the extreme incidents like Columbine, um, like kids killing themselves, has really, and the media, media paying attention to that, has, has made us all think more seriously about that. Now we have opened up the News 4 phone lines and our website, WIVB.com, and the phone number is 879-4800. We'd like to hear from you right now. Years ago, a bully would tend to come after you with his or her fists. Now they can hide behind a computer or a smartphone and wail away with words. This is not a problem confined to one school district or town. It's happening just about everywhere. And no one knows that better than middle and high school kids. That builds up and you feel so alone to the point that you don't think you can handle anything anymore. Hi, this is Jamie from Buffalo, New York. His story has touched countless lives. Taught me in the hallways and I felt like I could never escape it. A kind and caring boy, tormented by his peers, and eventually driven over the edge. One to the kids who are bullying, that they have to realize that words are very powerful, and what you think is just fun and games isn't to some people, and you're destroying a lot of lives. Jackie Walker is live in our newsroom tonight, joined by those who are here to help. Jackie? Don, we've invited some experts here who are quite familiar with the problem of bullying. I'd like you to meet Kitty Lambert. Kitty, as you know, is an outspoken advocate on gay issues here in Western New York and speaking tonight on behalf of Outspoken for Equality. Kitty, I know you were heartbroken by what happened with this young man, but not surprised. No, sadly, no. Um, just this last year, the Dignity for All Students Act was passed, and it will go into effect in 2012. We're hoping this is the last child that ever goes through this. We need peace, and we need love. Tracy from Buffalo is the latest to share an anti-bullying message as part of News 4's Bully Project, a campaign that continues to gain momentum. Bullying and talking about people and discrimination is killing. It's killing people. The recent death of Jamie Rodemeyer reignited the fight against bullying and once again put the bully project in the forefront. News director Joe Schlar started the campaign last spring after a huge response to a story about this young student who was tormented in school and online. Look, this is not stopping. Um, this is a problem that's continuing. It doesn't just affect the children, it affects their parents, their schools. The Boy Project is our way of getting that stuff. Since Jamie's death, more and more people are coming together to fight back against bullies. Someone who picks on other people who are smaller than them or defenseless, that's not cool. That's cruel and ignorant. News Force team of reporters and anchors recently shared their thoughts. I still have nightmares about my bully, but it gets better. High school is only four years of your life. What we found was amazing stories. Um, you know, these honest, 
again, heartbreaking stories um, from people that you think, oh, well, they were never bullied. Well, it's not true. It's, it affects just about everyone's life. Former world heavyweight contender, Baby Joe Macy, who got the nickname from his grandparents, never lost a fight in the ring. But growing up, he was one of the smallest in his class. I would get poked fun of, made fun of, pushed around, beaten up. Hey, it's Robbie from Goo Dolls. You know, obviously, bullying is horrible for the person who's being bullied. Um, has it ever happened to me? Well. <laughs> Let's put it this way, uh, after we sold some records, there were an awful lot of people who came up to me remembering our relationship a little bit differently uh, than when I was a kid. I would give anything again to be your baby doll. Lady Gaga is one of many celebs railing behind Jamie Rodemeyer, fighting for new laws against bullying. In her most recent Twitter message, she said, I'm meeting with the president. Ricky Martin also joined the call, making a profile picture on his Twitter, an image of Jamie. He tweeted, this needs to stop. If you ever feel like, because of bullying, because of what people are saying, that you're getting down on yourself, you've got to make sure to reach out to people you trust. Take heart and have hope. And please remember that your life is valuable. Tomorrow, CNN anchor and talk show host Anderson Cooper will spend a full hour talking about Jamie Rodemeyer of Amherst and the bullying that ended his life. News Force George Rickert was a part of that program in New York City and gives us this advanced look. I've been reporting on, on bullying and the death of, of kids for years now. Anderson Cooper's new show will begin its third week with one hour focused on bullying and the death of Jamie Rodemeyer. We were there in New York last Tuesday for the taping in front of a live audience. And I need a million ways to deal with the pain. Jamie's Mom sister found the courage to perform a song she had written so after Jamie's death. So I'd give anything to have you here with me to hold your hand and listen to you sing. I can't Basically it's how I deal with anything. And so after all this, you know, I just had to get the grief out and that's how I did. The more people that we can touch and send his word out, the more we can make this a better planet. Can things really change? I, I do think so. I mean, I know every a lot of adults will say, well, look, this is something that's been around when I was a kid, it, it was around. And, and look, when I was a kid, there was bullying as well. But it's different now because of the life online and because of all these websites and mobile devices. And if we can just make it so that bullying is not something that actually is effective for social mobility, that actually intervening and stopping bullying is something that is effective for social mobility. I think you can have real change. I wanted to dedicate this song to him tonight because he was really young. Let's do this one for Jamie. The family of Jamie Rodemeyer traveled to California over the weekend to spread their anti-bullying message and to meet the pop star whose music comforted Jamie. News 4's Jackie Walker reports now from Los Angeles. We would have known about this and Jamie would have known about this. Um, something tells me he would still be here with us. The Rotemeyers say they will likely work with the Trevor Project to spread the message about its crisis intervention services and spare other people their pain. We're going to get that word out that there's help for these kids and things like this, what happened to Jamie, should never, should never ever happen again. Many of the stars who walk the red carpet say they understand and the need for greater understanding of the differences among us. With all the bullying issues, all the suicides you hear about, the tragic, tragic stories, you know, it's just, it's, it's amazing that this kind of money can be raised and continue to raise awareness for something that's so important. What the message of the Trevor Project is, and what tonight is about, is really a celebration of life and how precious that is. In this cell phone video, you can hear that the benefit ended with an honor for Lady Gaga, introduced by the Rotemeyers. We are very proud to present the Trevor Hero Award to Lady Gaga. She, in turn, paid tribute to Jamie. I appreciate this award so much, but truthfully, I am not the hero. The hero is Jamie. This is the beginning of what I hope is change in regards to how our students feel in school. I can't promise you or anyone else here this evening that it's going to change overnight, but I can promise you 
that we will work as hard as we possibly can as a school district. It definitely changed my perception about a lot of things because I'm not even going to lie, I'm one of those people who you might consider a bully in all senses. But now looking at something like this, it's like, why even, why even do that? Mr. Higgins, imagine a world without bullies. Your leadership can make a difference. We need a tougher law for bullying because I don't think the laws right now are doing anything much. Schools and communities need proper resources to teach children the effects of bullying. We need to start anti-bullying programs. We need your help to make things better in our world. And I know that Congressman Higgins was moved by these letters too. And I have a surprise for you this morning. Congressman Higgins is here today. Hey. How are you? Just his presence in that classroom validated their efforts. I could be six or I could be 50. You never, you never can tell what a person can do. At least if it only stops in our school, we know that we still won and that we stopped at least one bully. It doesn't matter how old you are, but you can always change the world. If you have a message that you want to get out there, this is a way for you to do it. This is a chance for us to say, we can put a stop to this.